Welcome back to another episode of Guitar with Brian Baker. Guitar tips, tricks, lessons, and performance. I'm Brian Baker, your host. And today we're going to be talking about one of the most dreaded chords to make on the guitar, the F chord. F chord on the guitar is one of the most challenging chords for beginners to learn. And the reason why is because it's a bar chord. Um, so what I want to do today is help you get, get there a little bit faster so you can play it. Uh, smoothly and easily and get and get back into the songs that you want to play and start using your F. Okay, so the F chord looks like this. Okay, we'll get right into it. One way you might want to look at it is kind of like a C chord. So if you're coming from a C chord, the easiest way to get into an F is to take these two fingers, your middle and third finger, and just move them down one string. So we're going to move them down, boop, and boop. So now I've got my middle finger on the second fret of my G string, my third finger on the third fret of my D, and my first finger is on that C on the first fret. I'm going to leave the bottom string open. Okay, now technically this chord is F major 7. Okay, but we let that slide for beginners. When you start learning guitar, you can use F major 7 at the beginning as a substitute for the real F, which is the bar chord. So if you're just starting out, the three finger F like this, is perfectly acceptable okay then after a while you're going to start to realize you want to try to do that bar chord so here's where things get a little bit more um confusing sometimes so a couple different ways you can do it you want to bar the first two strings on the bottom uh two strings on the first fret and then you're going to use your first finger to do that okay and then you're going to put your other two fingers back where they were on the second and the third fret strumming from the fourth string your d string which is an f by the way that's an f note you're holding down there Okay, now a lot of people will do it, and they'll get this. And that bottom one won't work. Okay, so there's a bunch of different ways that you can make an F chord. You can do it this way. And it's all about the way you do that bar in there that, that gives people the problem. So what you can do a couple different tricks. You can try the way I always learn to do an F chord is you can try to put your finger right in between the two strings. Okay, so I got my finger in between the two strings. And if your finger's big enough, you can hold both of them down. This won't work for everyone, but it'll work for some. And then you put your middle finger back on the third string and your third finger back up on the D. And you get this. And you get F. So it looks like you're just holding it the way you were for F major seven, but you're really grabbing two. And if your finger's big enough, that'll work. Okay, now the other way that you have to do it, and most of the rest of us have to do, is we have to do that bar. And there's a couple things here that you wanna pay attention to. Make sure your thumb is in about the middle of upper half of the back of the neck. You want your finger to be right up against the fret there okay you don't want to be over here or even in the middle right up against the fret even over the fret if you want to just a little bit everything works better on the guitar closer to the frets all right so you get your first finger over the bottom two barred and then you put those other two back and you strum all right now there's a couple different ways to do this bar you can do the bar you can try to put your finger on there flat or angle it off to the side like that and put the other two back That'll work. Some people like to do this one. And for some that works. And for some, the other way too is with the thumb, you can put your thumb up here and really grab onto everything. And that's gonna give you more of that holding it down in the middle uh, approach. But if you're doing the bar, this way will work too. I've got my finger kinked up this way. So it's not just flat across like that. It's actually bloop like that, at that little knuckle. I'm flexing it that way. And you can do it that way. That's one way. Okay or just straight at an angle, that works too. And then after you get that straightened out, you can keep building up your F chord. I'll just wanna move through these quickly. These are a little bit more advanced. The next way you can do your F is like this. You got the bar, uh, middle finger here on the second fret, third finger up here on the third fret. Then you get your, uh, oh, sorry, I said that wrong. Your first finger covering the bottom two, middle finger on A, uh, third string up, second fret. Then you're gonna put your pinky where your third finger was on the fourth fret, or third fret of the fourth string, and then your third finger is going to go up one more up on the A string on the third fret. And you have five strings now. Okay, so that'll work for an A or an F. The next way that's exciting is you can try to put your thumb on top like that. And you grab that F, that low F up here with your thumb over the first fret. And now you've got every string covered. One last way you can do, you can do the full on approach, barring the first fret. I like to bar right across the fret and then lean back into the space. And then this is where we get into the cage system a little bit. You're gonna make an E chord in front of the bar and that will give you your F chord again. 
Okay. So hopefully these tips helped you out with your F chord. I know it is a challenging chord, but stick with it. Uh, you will get it. And hopefully uh, one of these techniques uh, helped you out. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. We're on here just about uh, every day with guitar tips, tricks, lessons, and performances. And uh, happy playing, everybody. Uh, good luck with your F chord.